Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a self crystal healing for cleansing and detoxification in the lower body. So I'm going to be lying down throughout the session because when we do crystal healing body layouts on ourselves, we need to be lying down. I do a lot of complex body layouts when I'm with clients, but when you're working on yourself, you really have to strip it back and simplify it because it is a little tricky placing the crystals on your body. This particular layout that I'm going to show you is going to be great if you need to cleanse and detoxify the lower body. So I'm talking about situations where you might feel bloated, if you've got food intolerances, where you feel like you're holding on to energetic trauma, um, where you feel like you've been overindulging in junk food or toxic um, environmental factors. So maybe you've been around toxic people that you've onboarded their energy and you want to let go of it. Um, maybe you've eaten too much pizza and ice cream and you just want to feel like you're cleansing and moving that through. This layout's going to be fantastic for that. Now, because I'm working on myself, I'm just going to show you this in its real raw form. So you might see crystals falling off. Uh, they may not be placed perfectly, but this is what it's like when you're working on yourself, okay? So everything I teach through my channel is real healing for real people in real life situations. So none of this perfectly placed Instagram, take a photo kind of stuff. I'm talking about this is what a real healing session looks like. And when we're working on ourselves, there's some things that can go wrong because it is tricky. So a couple of tips that I would suggest is you can use your phone, holding your phone up and using it like a mirror to see where you're placing the stones on your body. Um, and you can also, there's a few little cheats that you can do. So we start with the bottom crystals first and place them and then work our way up, which may not be the ordinary way of things if we were doing that layout on a partner or a client. Okay, so the stones I'm going to be working with today are hematite, which is a, like a gunmetal color stone. Hematite's a fantastic grounding stone because it has natural magnetic properties. It draws energy to itself. And it's probably my favorite because of that when we're doing a cleanse or a detoxification or any layout where we really want to draw the energy downwards. So that one's going to go at my Earth Star Chakra, which is located just below my feet. I'll pop it there in a moment. I'm also going to be working with Bloodstone. Bloodstone is a really dark green and dark red stone. It can be tricky to identify because sometimes the stone can be almost all green or almost all red, or sometimes it will just be a mottled combination of the two. So this is a really dark green bloodstone and it's got tiny, tiny little red flecks in it. That one's going to go at my root chakra, which we can place between the groin and the knees or just on the pubic bone. And this one's a great one for cleansing the blood and the physical body. So it's a really good one. Um, ladies, if you're menstruating at the time, it can really help with that cleanse process because it does resonate with the blood. It can really help remove any trauma in the womb, um, any, any energetic, I, I guess, stuff that we've been holding on to in the womb space it, it can really help target that and release it through the, the menstrual cycle and through the blood it can also for everybody male and female cleanse the digestive system um, the detoxification and cleansing system so organs of elimination the bowels um, and also the sexual organs as well if there's trauma or um, energetic blockage there so that's going to go at the root chakra and then at my sacral chakra, which is just below my belly button, I'm going to be working with carnelian or I'm going to place carnelian. Carnelian is also a fantastic cleansing stone. It's also great for the lower body, but <laughs> what did I say about crystals falling off? <laughs> oh, I'll have to find those. Oh, there, there's one. I've lost the other one. There it is. Um, so carnelian is especially resonant with the reproductive organs so um, it, it really helps cleanse and release any energy or any trauma in those organs it's it's good for fertility too incidentally if you if you are happening to want to get pregnant or um, have children but it's not only for fertility so don't be shy to use it if you're not planning on having children in the near future uh, it's just a really great one for cleansing the gut as well and for raising the energy. So this is a good one if you're somebody who's prone to sluggish energy, um, perhaps 
you eat a lot of um, stodgy foods that kind of block up your system or perhaps you have uh, some kind of condition or health Ill, an illness or health condition that may prevent your energy levels from being optimal, this is going to be a great stone for that. It's also good for speeding up the metabolism too. And then the other stone I'll be using is citrine. I love citrine. If you guys have watched my other videos, you know I use citrine a lot. I often use citrine at the solar plexus in all kinds of layouts and I will be using it in this layout at the solar plexus too. But I've got a citrine point here and I'm going to be flipping the point down and pointing it downwards because we want the energy in a cleansing layout to be flowing down the body. This is how energy is released. Just like we release physical waste downwards through the body, we release energetic blockage and waste downwards too. So by pointing the point downwards facing, it's, it's kind of capturing that downwards flow of energy. Citrine is great for confidence, um, for success and abundance. But from a cleansing perspective and why I'm including it in this layout, is citrine's great for cleansing all of the energetic and spiritual kind of layers of the self. So letting go of non-serving beliefs, especially beliefs that um, lead to self-sabotage, lack of confidence, not being able to put yourself out there, not being, not being able to let yourself shine. So you may have heard me say this, citrine's a shiny stone and it encourages you and opens the doorway for you to step through and shine boldly, brightly, and confidently. So we want to let go and cleanse ourselves of anything that's holding us back and uh, from being our best shining selves. I'm going to go ahead and place the stones now. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to mention, I will also be using some clear quartz points. I work with Lemurian points specifically. You'll see that it's very fine. It's very clear. Um, these are very good quality stones. I do actually sell them in my online shop evolvecrystals.net because they are hard to come by and if you're crystal healing at a high level for professional use or for very um, very effective personal use then you want good quality stones so um, these mini Lemurian points are fantastic for channeling, channeling energy around the body in a layout and I'm going to use these between my main chakra stones like this pointing downwards once again to keep the energy flowing down in this cleanse and additionally clear quartz has those very cleansing properties so it's a really good stone to include in any layout that is for release and cleansing the energy. This is my quartz wand and I'll be showing you how to work with that once all the stones are in place. All right, it's time to start placing the stones. Let's start with the hematite at the earth chakra. So I'm just going to sit up you guys won't be able to see that, but I've just placed it between my feet or just below my feet. And that's going to be at the earth chakra. The next stone I'm going to place is my blood stone. And I'm going to pop that just on my pubic bone. You can place it between your groin and your knees as well, if, if that's your preference. And that's going to be for the root chakra. Now I'm going to place my carnelian and that's going to be at the sacral, which is just below the belly button. So I've got that in place. There we go. And then the next one is my citrine, remembering a point pointed downwards at the solar plexus chakra. There we go. And I'm going to place a clear quartz point between each stone, making sure it's pointing down. I might place one up here as well on the heart. There we go. So it looks a little wonky as I can see on the video there. All right. So all of my stones are in place. Now, the first and easiest way to work with the stones once they're in place on your body is simply to hold your hands directly on, so in physical contact with or just over, the stone at each chakra point and send your intention into the stone for the healing. So at the root chakra, that might be something like I release any blockage, any energetic trauma that I'm holding on to in these organs, in this area of my body. I release anything that no longer serves my journey. I let go of anything that I've been holding on to, any toxins in my body, and I send this on its way through the root chakra. 
or whatever intention resonates with you. And then we can move up the body to the sacral and do the same and to the um, solar plexus and do the same here. If you can't form a really clear intention in your mind, then simply send healing energy there. You can lie with your hands over each chakra point for as long as you like. You can lie here for 10 minutes at each point, just sending healing energy into the stones to send into yourself, into this body area. You can just put on a nice music or meditation as you do this. You can simply lie with your hands by your side if that feels better and you just want to disengage from your mind and just let the stones do their work. Or if you want to get a little bit tricky, you can try working with a wand. Because when we're cleansing, the energy flows down the body, the most simple way of working with a wand is to hold the wand above your head at the higher crown and just draw it down the center line of your body, pointed towards your body, and just flow it out through the root chakra. And as you're doing this, just visualize any blockage, anything out of alignment along the way, just coming into alignment, flowing down the body and being released through the root chakra. And you can do this a few times. And this just feels so releasing and aligning. It's a really beautiful way of gifting yourself with a cleansing healing experience. Once you've done any of your wand work or your intention work, Regardless of whether you laid there earlier with your hands by your side, this is a really nice opportunity to just spend a few minutes letting all of those energies settle, really visualizing the cleanse taking shape and, and happening in the body and in the energetic system and just really consciously focusing on letting go of anything that you want to release at this time. Keep in mind that because this is a cleansing session and we're using a lot of cleansing stones, you may have heard through this video, but my stomach was rumbling quite a lot through this. That's really common and that just means that the energies are starting to move. After you've done a cleanse session on yourself, you may notice that you may need to go to the toilet straight away. You may feel a little unsettled in the stomach. You may be really hungry or maybe you've lost your appetite. You might get stomach rumbling like I did. If you, are, if you have your period, if you're a woman, you may feel that your cramping may have changed a little bit through that experience and your, your blood flow may be a little less. It might have stopped or it might flow more heavily. So this just all is very normal and shows that the energies are shifting and any, any symptoms that you may feel afterwards will definitely resolve within a couple of hours and will be mild in nature. I hope you've enjoyed that session and I hope you are able to gift yourself the opportunity to experience a crystal cleanse in the near future. Thank you for watching.